Okay, so we have the Pine phone here, and I'm going to show you what happened in what the uh, the company that sells this the Pine 64 has offered to send me another motherboard. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to take the phone apart, and I want to show you what broke, and then we're going to see if we can get the motherboard out of the device. So. The first part is what broke. So I'm gonna, so this is a device, it's a little plastic insert that they give you that goes into the slot where your cell phone card goes. And, and it's because your cell phone card is a little smaller than the plug, so they give you this little thing. Um, so let's take the phone apart. So when you're looking at the front of the phone, down here in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a little tab there that you can stick something in, but you really don't even need anything because you can pull this apart a little bit and then just very carefully pop the back of the telephone off. And so it's one of the coolest parts of this phone to me. Um, and then what we're going to do, there's a little slot right here at the bottom we're going to get the battery out so we'll just pop this battery out of here if I can it's a little tight but it'll come out all right so now we have the battery out now I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this but this is the spot where this card there's two things here there is an SD card slot that's up here at the top and then under it is the telephone card and so this little insert is made to slide in that bottom slot and slide your SIM card in. The problem is, is that little edge up here on the front when you're taking the SIM card out, because what had happened is I changed providers to try T-Mobile and I had a Verizon card. Um, and so I, when I pulled the Verizon card out, the card came out but this little thing the the corner of it got stuck on one of those pins and so it wouldn't come out when, when it did come out because it doesn't take a lot of pressure but when it did come out it popped that pin off of this card and so the result is that i have a phone now that i can't get on a cellular network because it no longer functions so what we're going to be doing is taking this cover off the the back so we took the cover off now we're going to take the phone apart so we're going to split the phone <coughs> and we're going to see if we can get this thing apart because what we need to do is we need to send the motherboard which is right here off to them and they're going to send me a new motherboard and then i'll do another video putting it back together so right now we're going to take all of the screws that go around this case we're going to take all of these guys off tell you what i'm gonna get a little bit of extra light going on here This will help a little. So we're just going to go around the phone, taking out all of these. I mean, this, this is the coolest part of this telephone. Not only is it running Linux instead of iOS or Google spyware Android but it also is easily taken apart so that you can do your own repairs to some degree and the company that sells it is willing to send you another motherboard to fix it if it does go bad These are some little tiny screws. 
All right, so I think that is all. That is all of the screws. They, there's something like a. Uh, there's another screw up here, but they got some kind of a little tab on it. I don't know if that's to detect whether or not I've opened the phone. Oh, there's one more screw right there. So the big thing is just make sure you get all the screws out because there are a ton of them. All right, so now what we're going to do is I've just got a guitar pick or something, and we're going to try to get up in the middle of the case so that we can separate this thing. And it looks like they have little little indentions to help but I've got this little metal one that's a little bit more so this is the the part that scares me is uh, I don't want to break this thing and then end up I'm trying to see exactly they have a video on how to take this thing apart but it's it's one of those typical videos with no no sound and they're playing music and they speed up okay so these are look like they're little tabs that that slide i don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that but it actually looks like if you just grab hold of it it is coming apart pretty easy i'm gonna all right, so you can, right here where the battery is, I just pulled that out a little bit. And then once you get it out, you can stick your guitar pick in here and just start working it around the, the phone. So far, it looks like that's working. And I don't know what is under here, so I'm trying to be careful to make sure that I don't break anything so we got the back off or the bottom where the battery is now let's try for the important part and you really want to try to not stick your your guitar pick through too far because there could be ribbon cables and stuff in there all right so that appears to have popped this case off and there's not too much in there that's going to get broke sticking that through so now what we're going to do is we're just going to set this over here out of the way all right so now the next step is there's ribbon cables there's a ribbon cable right here two ribbon cables right here another one here and then two more down here on the monitor where it plugs in so what we've got to do is we've got to get all of that unplugged. Now, these are little flip pieces. So you just get very lightly because you can break these things. You, you flip this little door up. And then once you flip the door up, you can stick. I don't really want to use that big thing. You can stick something right here under the ribbon cable and just very gently pry it out of that spot and so we're going to come over here these two doors are the same so we're just going to flip that little door up in fact it might be easier with the screwdriver we're just going to very gently uh, let's try this one okay those aren't wanting to you just got to be careful with these little doors because if you break them off, then the ribbon cable is not going to. That is not wanting to pry out of there. Goodness gracious. And see that starting to, to chip away there. So we'll come back to that. So this one right here is another little ribbon cable so we're going to pry it up and then we'll get this ribbon cable just very gently pull it out of the hole all right then right here is the wireless antenna um, it just plugs in so we're just going to 
pop it out that be and it's really just finding the right tool to to do this stuff so that we don't break anything but that just pops right off of the the board it's got a little circular piece in there all right so now we still got to work on these two guys so these two monitor or the i think these are the monitor pins um these guys push down so they don't have a door on them they should just pry up off of the card and then they'll just move back out of the way because they're they're little sockets that that slide onto them all right so we have everything off except for these two ribbon cables over here so we got to figure out what is stopping us from popping those open because I don't want to break anything let's see if I can get my fingernail on it okay so I wonder if those don't hinge Maybe they slide out, but I swear they look like the little, no, let's, because those are not part of the motherboard, they're actually the camera and the, I don't know what the other one is, I guess the front camera, so those are the two cameras, and they most definitely look like the little hinges. Huh. I'm going to try to slide it forward and see if it's one of the slide doors, but it doesn't feel like it. It's amazingly tight. Hmm. Well, So we most definitely are not hinging. It looks like it could be either one of those types of where, where it slides open instead of hinging up, but it doesn't seem to want to do either one. My camera's coming out of its socket there. So, I'm going to do a little bit of research here and come back to this because these two guys are not wanting to come off of the, the board. Now, looking, looking at this, those, those two cameras just come off the board. So, technically, they would come off with the board anyway. So, to get the board out, once you get all of the ribbon cables and stuff disconnected, you're just going to pry up on the board a little bit here and it will come right off of the thing and you can see the the two camera um, modules are, are still attached but this is basically so the phone itself is done um, and but so what's happening is I've got to send this to them and they're going to send me another motherboard so I, I think I need to get these cameras off of here and I'm going to play around with it and then I'll do another short video here in a minute if I figure out how to get these latches off. I don't know why they're being so picky. Um, but we'll get those off and then we're going to send this off to them. They're going to send me another one and then we'll do another video putting everything back together. Okay, so it turns out, <clears throat> after going back and looking at this, the these two camera modules don't actually come off the board or at least they don't show them coming off when they did the the video that they did so i guess we're just going to send these back with the cameras on there and the one that they send back already has either these cameras put back on it or or new cameras <clears throat> so that's what we got to do and we're going to get this shipped off and hopefully get a new board so we can get this phone going again <laughs> 